Is Beijing Shuddering? Newly published book on Emperor Sun Chongzheng removed from shelves. U.S. lawmakers are introducing a bill to ban federal purchases of Chinese drones. The world will quickly lose trillions of dollars if China invades Taiwan. Author. Recently, a Chinese historical book titled Sun Chongzheng, Recklessness, A Diligent King's Undoing, was published and posted online. However, within less than two months, authorities took it down. Reports suggest it was removed due to printing issues, but the book's cover title raises political associations. The book was published on September 1st this year, authored by Chen Ngongdong, a member of the Chinese Communist Party, or CCP, and former director of the School of History at the Central University for Nationalities. The book narrates the story of Emperor Sun Chongzheng, during the late Ming Dynasty, on his path to the kingdom's downfall. The book's introduction on the cover states, A nation's mistakes. The more zealous its governance, the sooner its demise. Additional information on the book from the Beijing Library website clarifies, From various aspects such as finance, factional struggles, military affairs, recruitment, and more, it helps readers understand how Emperor Sun Chongzheng repeated such errors and led the nation to its downfall. According to an announcement from the publisher Cultural Solo, Duke, on October 16th, the book had printing issues, requiring all major websites, Xinhua Bookstore, and private retailers to remove it immediately. However, the publisher has not specified the nature of the printing issue. Currently, searching for the book on e-commerce platforms in China, such as Dangdang, JD.com, Tmall, and Taobao, yields no results, showing messages like temporarily not available for purchase and sorry, this product has been removed from the shelves. According to Vision Times, discussions on Weibo are ongoing regarding the book's recall and what transpired. Some argue that there were inappropriate elements on the book cover and printing issues. Some people are frightened and uneasy. Others respond, just two days ago, people praised the book cover. The more you talk, the more it seems similar. Has it been reported? The book, Sun Chongzheng, The Diligent King's Undoing, has led to associations with the highest leadership of the Central Committee of the CCP potentially being removed. Currently, discussions on this matter on Weibo are gradually blocked, leaving netizens puzzled. Has Sun Chongzheng become a sensitive term at the beginning of this year? Other Chinese netizens have surpassed the Great Firewall and commented, this only shows that the party state understands its situation better than anyone else. It's like a sudden psychological reaction, a shattered spiritual state. It's not just the book. Even a video introduction from a few months ago was deleted. The American Security Drone Act is being introduced by Mike Gallagher, the Republican subcommittee chair, and Raja Krishnamurthy, the senior Democrat, as announced in a statement. Gallagher states, This bill would prohibit the federal government from using American taxpayer dollars to purchase this equipment from countries like China. The proposed legislation would prohibit local and state governments from using federal grants to buy Chinese drones. Furthermore, it mandates a federal report to disclose the quantity of foreign commercial off-the-shelf drones and unmanned aircraft systems purchased by federal departments and agencies from China. Krishnamurthy emphasized that the bill helps protect against any vulnerabilities posed by our government agency's reliance on foreign manufactured drone technology and will encourage growth in the U.S. drone industry. Additionally, the U.S. Senate unanimously approved an amendment that would prevent the Federal Aviation Administration, or FAA, from operating or funding drones manufactured in China, Russia, Iran, North Korea, Venezuela, or Cuba. Republican Senator Marsha Blackburn and Democrat Mark Warner proposed this amendment, with Blackburn stating, Taxpayer dollars should never fund drones manufactured in regions that are hostile toward our nation. China recently implemented export controls on certain drones and drone-related equipment to protect national security interests. In 2020, the Commerce Department imposed export restrictions on the China-based drone manufacturer DJI 
alleging complicity in the oppression of China's Uyghur minority and support for the military. DJI is responsible for over 50% of drones sold in the United States and is widely used by public safety agencies, as noted by Republican lawmakers earlier this year. In 2019, Congress prohibited the Pentagon from acquiring or utilizing drones and components manufactured in China. The author of the book, Chip War, Chris Miller, believes that the global economy will suffer enormous damage if the Chinese regime attacks Taiwan. Sharing with the Hindustan Times Leadership Summit on November 1st, Miller said that if Beijing launches a war with Taiwan, the world will lose trillions of dollars in only two quarters, because Taiwan is a significant player in the vitally important semiconductor industry. Miller argues that even though countries are seeking ways to produce semiconductors, it will be decades before they can perfect advanced chips independently. Therefore, countries should first focus on specific risks. This implies that the world should focus on the threat of war between China and Taiwan. As of 2020, Taiwan is the leading country in the global semiconductor industry. Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, or TSMC, accounts for more than 50% of the worldwide market. The Times reported in 2021 that a financial analyst asked Taiwan TSMC Chair Mark Liu, are your customers concerned when China repeatedly threatens a war against Taiwan? Liu replied, everybody wants to have a peaceful Taiwan Strait. Liu said that the Taiwan Strait benefits all countries. The world depends on the semiconductor supply chain in Taiwan, so no one wants to disrupt it. However, according to the Times, Liu's skills in assessing war risks still need to be tested. <laughs>